At the time of filming, 739 people have completed my free quiz to find out their dating and relationship style. The last question in that quiz asks, if you could magically fix one thing about your relationship, what would it be? 294 people said communication skills, closely followed by 261 people who said get over my own insecurities. Let's look at how coaching can help address these and three more of the top five relationship issues. In case we haven't met, my name is Doris. I'm a certified coach with a master's in psychology and through this channel and my coaching practice, I help smart romantics build meaningful relationships. First up in the top five issues, coaching can help with communication skills. Sometimes things can get lost in translation even when you speak the same language, leading to misunderstandings, arguments and conflict. Relationship coaching can help you practice things like communication techniques and active listening skills. In my practice, I do that using communication styles based on our psychological or personality types. Next up, improving self-awareness. Self-awareness is essential for healthy relationships. If you want to be a true partner, you have to know what turns you on and what takes you off. Unless you practice relationship anarchy or solo polyamory or another form of non-hierarchical relationships, your primary partner is the well you drink from for personal growth. They will trigger all your insecurities and help drag all your shadow stuff into the open and you will do the same for them. So coaching helps you explore your biases, beliefs and behaviors and that can absolutely enrich your lives. Even if you look at your stuff individually, it's still helpful because you and your partner or partners are a system and as soon as one person changes, the system also changes. This is my favorite piece, if I'm honest, self-awareness, because its effects can be felt in all the other areas as well. For example, intimacy issues. Intimacy and sexual challenges, such as the absence of intimacy, differences in sexual desire, or one partner considering non-monogamy, often cause distress in relationships. Coaching can help you address all of your concerns in a safe environment and find solutions that work for everyone. Relationship transitions, moving in together, getting married, or moving abroad for a career all change the dynamics of a relationship. These changes come with shifts in roles and expectations, all of which can benefit from, you guessed it, talking it through in a safe space. Taking myself as an example, I've been an expat for over 26 years now. The last 17 were with my husband. We've moved from Barcelona to the Canary Islands to Mexico, where I didn't have a work permit, to Texas and then New York. So I know from personal experience that coaching helps navigate these transitions. It saves a lot of time and you're much less likely to kill each other. Speaking of, last but not least, coaching also helps with managing conflict. Conflicts are inevitable in relationships, but unresolved stuff lingers and causes pain and unhealthy fights without repairs cause damage. For example, establishing and maintaining healthy boundaries is crucial for healthy relationships, but many people struggle to find a good balance between autonomy and connection. Talking with a coach often helps clarify those positions and find a way where everyone is comfortable with the tension between closeness and curiosity. And again, personality type models are very effective tools here. They can be explained and practiced super quickly. Two more things, since you're still watching, please leave a comment which one of these points you'd like for me to go deeper on. And if this didn't quite answer all your questions, check out the next video about the differences between coaching and therapy. I'll see you there.